Shalom everyone, may the Lord bless you. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I am your host, Brother Kevin. Thank you very much for joining us. Please, dearly beloved, share the live stream link. Please invite your family and friends to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. Please share, dearly beloved, from whatever platform you're following us from. Please share with your contacts, share in your groups, share on your stories. Share with all your contact list, dearly beloved. And invite someone to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. Shalom to you all where you are. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please do not forget to follow us on all the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please also follow us on all of the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast where you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes surrounding the podcast. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you all richly. May the Lord bless you all abundantly. It is a privilege and a blessing to be alive and to be in God's presence. Shalom to you all and thank you very much for joining us all. We're going to do the opening prayer and we are going to get started right away. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, we thank you for your grace which is upon us. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to see the month of July, we thank you, Father, for your mercy, for your compassion. We thank you, Father, for your loving kindness. We thank you, Father in heaven, for this new month, for this new beginning you have given to us in the name of Jesus. Father, we are praying for your Holy Spirit to guide us through today's prayer. We are praying for your Holy Spirit to speak to us through today's prayer. We are praying for your Holy Spirit to give us revelation and insight and discernment in today's prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, you say, come to me, all those of you who are heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. Father in heaven, we come before you, Lord, with all our burdens. We come before you, Heavenly Father, with every situation, every challenge in our lives in the name of Jesus. And we present it to you, Father. We pray, Lord, for your divine intervention. And we pray, Father, for your divine manifestation. In today's prayer, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we bind and we destroy anything which may not confess your name. Anything which may rise up in opposition against today's prayer, we render it void and useless and we send it to the dry places in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and earth, we pray, Lord, that you cover us with the blood of Christ. And we pray, Lord, for your powerful hand, Lord, to work in our favour in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and we give you praises. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all. May the Lord bless you. So dearly beloved, as you are aware, we just finished the month of June. As you are aware, we are already in the second half of the year. As you are also aware, dearly beloved, we were sharing messages regarding doors, keys, and closing evil doors and opening godly doors. And now that we have done so, dearly beloved, I want to bring to your attention, dearly beloved, that you should be expecting good news. You should be expecting good things coming your way. You should be expecting a new opening coming very shortly, dearly beloved. You should be expecting a new blessing coming. You should be expecting something, dearly beloved, which was impossible. Now become impossible. You should be expecting a drastic shift and a drastic change in your life, in your home, in your family, in the name of Jesus. I have a, an important message for you, dearly beloved. Remember the message we shared on Thursday from 1 Peter 5, 8, 9. Be sober, be alert, be cautious at all times, dearly beloved. Because the divine intervention that God has just done for you, dearly beloved, the enemy is not going to be happy about this. The enemy is not going to fold their arms and watch you, dearly beloved, rejoice with what the Lord has done for you. So you must be, dearly beloved, alert. You must be of sober mind. You must be cautious. Dearly beloved, after every great victory, comes dearly beloved another battle do not forget this i want to share a message with somebody today let's open the bible to the book of isaiah we are reading from isaiah and we are going to read from chapter 39 so this story dearly beloved is about the envoys from babylon the envoys for babylon who were assigned a mission, a task to go and visit Hezekiah. We all know Hezekiah, the one who was sick and he prayed to God and God extended his life. He gave him some more time to live. 
So Hezekiah received a visit from some people from Babylon. And in this visit, Hezekiah was very pleased. He was happy. He was so pleased that he began to show his visitors the treasures which were inside of his house. This included silver, gold, spices, precious oil. He showed them his whole armory, basically. Everything that was of value that he had. He showed them there was nothing in his house or under his authority that he did not show them. He basically exposed everything to them. Literally everything. Let's read Isaiah. Let's read from chapter 39 and let's read from verses 1. The word of God says, Soon after this, Merodach Baladan, son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent Hezekiah his best wishes and a gift. He had heard that Hezekiah had been very sick and that he had recovered. Let's read verses 2. Hezekiah was delighted with the Babylonian envoys and shown them and showed them everything in his treasure houses, the silver, the gold, the spices, and the aromatic oils. He also took them to see his armory, and shown them, and showed them everything in his royal treasuries. There was nothing in his palace or kingdom that Hezekiah did not show them. Verses 3 Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and asked him, what did those men want? Where were they from? Hezekiah replied, They came from the distant land of Babylon. Verses 4 What did they see in your palace? asked Isaiah. They saw everything, Hezekiah replied. I showed them everything I own, all my royal treasuries. Verses 5 Then Isaiah said to Hezekiah, Listen to this message from the Lord of Heaven's armies. The time is coming when everything in your palace, all the treasures stored up by your ancestors until now, will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left, says the Lord. Some of your very own sons, verses 7, some of your very own sons will be taken away into exile. They'll become eunuchs who will serve in the palace of Babylon's kings i'm gonna stop there so dearly beloved hezekiah was sick and he recovered he was sick he was basically definitely he was he was critically sick he was terminally sick he didn't have much time left and he received a message from the lord saying that he must set all his affairs in order he must prepare because he was basically about to die and he was not going to recover from his sickness and hezekiah did beloved he went into prayer he went into prayer he prayed to god fervently he prayed to god earnestly he literally did beloved went into prayer and looked for the face of god so god can intervene he prayed for a divine intervention and god responded to him he said i've heard your prayer and i've seen your tears i will add 15 years to your life and i'll rescue the city from the king of assyria so hezekiah not only recovered from his sickness god extended his life he gave him another 15 years and he also delivered and he rescued the city from the assyrians from the king of assyria their enemies and after that hezekiah blessed the lord he had a poem of praise similar to what we was reading for mary similar with what we also read for Hannah he had a poem of praise he thanked the Lord for everything the Lord did for him for the way the Lord restored his life he gave him more years he thanked the Lord and dearly beloved this is um, similar to what is happening with us dearly beloved Hezekiah had a great battle and after that great battle dearly beloved God gave him victory. But after the victory, dearly beloved, as you can see in chapter 39, Hezekiah received visitors. Dearly beloved, there's nothing wrong with him receiving these visitors. But the only problem is Hezekiah showed them all his treasuries. He showed them his whole armory. 
he entertained these visitors. He was basically impressing them, basically showing them what he had done. So it was not about what God had done for him, but it was about himself. He was basically impressing these visitors and basically showing off to them. Judah at the time was not superior to Babylon. Babylon had a bit more power than them at the time. So for him, it was like some sort of recognition that he was receiving from these people. And he did feel impressed. So he felt the need to show off. Even for the king of Babylon to write to him after he had recovered from his sickness, after he had received victory from the Assyrians, that was a big thing for him. And it was a big thing for him to the point where he accepted the visit from these envoys and he showed them everything, literally everything. There was nothing in his house that he did not show them. Visitors that you've just met and you're showing them, you're opening up yourself like that to them. Hezekiah receiving a compliment from the king of Babylon, it, it was a, a genuine, a genuine compliment or a genuine gesture. But the problem is he kind of let it get to his head. He received it wrongly. And him showing all his royal treasuries and his whole armory, it kind of seems as if Hezekiah became too puffed up. You know when people compliment you or they recognize what you're doing and it seems like you start to take the praise for yourself. The glory is not for God anymore, but it is for yourself. This, dearly beloved, is what was happening to Hezekiah. Dearly beloved, he could have just said to the king of Babylon, thank you for your best wishes. Thank you for your gift. Thank you for your visitors, your envoys that you have sent, obviously to come and bring the gift over. And he could have just given them his best wishes and that was it. But he was so delighted with them that he started to show them everything in his house his treasures, his spices. Imagine inviting someone into your house and you start taking them into your bedroom. A visitor that's come to your house for the first time, you're showing them all your secret things in your room, in your in your front room, whatever. You're showing them all your things of value. And this is what Hezekiah did. And this dearly beloved also reminds me of when Samson revealed his strength to the whore Delilah. Dearly beloved, there's some things that God has reserved for his servants, for his children, that is not supposed to be revealed or shown out there like that. The same way Samson revealed his strength to the whore Delilah and then Samson went down, this is also the same thing that happened to Hezekiah. After this, Hezekiah, dearly beloved, basically was told by the prophet Isaiah, you're going to lose everything. Everything that you showed to those people, they're going to take it. Dearly beloved, after every great battle, there is great victory. And after every great victory, dearly beloved, the enemy will try and come to befriend you. Dearly beloved, do not fall for it. Do not fall for it. What do they say? A leopard doesn't change its spots, yeah? Do not fall for it. Do not fall for it, dearly beloved. A devil will always be a devil. A leopard cannot and a leopard will not change its spots. It won't happen. Dearly beloved, you need to understand in this life, the only person we can trust with our eyes closed and with our backs turned is Jesus Christ. That is the only person. No one else, dearly beloved. This is why I was saying last week, dearly beloved, it is important for us to have the gift of discernment. Because with the gift of discernment, dearly beloved, this will enable you to know who a person really is. This will enable you to know the condition or the state or even the shape of a person's heart. When I mean condition, shape or state, it's just what kind of heart someone has. This is why, dearly beloved, in life, you can't be too passive with people. You can't be too impressed with people's smiles and people's compliments that they throw at you and acts of kindness, dearly beloved. Do not be too passive. Do not be too impressed. Do not be too flattered, dearly beloved. Do not allow yourself, dearly beloved, to fall into this slippery slope. Dearly beloved, in most cases, people come from strong battles. They receive great victories. They get a bit excited. And then in their excitement, they get a bit distracted. They let their guard down and they start doing the most. Dearly beloved, do not allow yourself to end up the way 
Hezekiah ended up in this situation that he found himself with the envoys from Babylon. Dearly beloved, as you have recovered your keys, you have closed doors that you no longer need open. You have closed evil doors and as you have put in place godly doors, new doors, better doors based on God's promises. Dearly beloved, be mindful of everything and anyone and every opportunity that might come your way. This is why, dearly beloved, you have to be consistent with your prayers. You have to be consistent, dearly beloved, with your prayers. You have to, dearly beloved, persevere. Sometimes you have to tell God, show me the faces of my enemies. Show me the faces of my enemies. Show me the faces of the enemies of my household, the enemies of my destiny. These are prayers, dearly beloved, that you have to do sometimes. The things that God will expose you to about the people closest to you, dearly beloved, is very scary. You need to mentally prepare yourself for what you're about to see. You need to mentally prepare yourself for what you are about to find out. May the Lord bless you all. This was the Midnight Prayer Podcast by I Am Church London. Shalom to all of you who followed this message. I hope you have all been blessed. I hope you have all learned something. I hope you have all been enlightened. I hope you have all received, dearly beloved, some kind of wisdom from today's message. And I hope, dearly beloved, you are able to put this message into practice and also warn others. May the Lord bless you all. Please share the live stream link on all your platforms that you are following us from. Share it with your, in your stories. Share with your contacts. Share within your groups. Share, dearly beloved, with all in all the communities that are in those um, platforms that you're following us from. And may the Lord bless you richly. May the Lord bless you abundantly. So we're going to go straight into our prayer. So let's begin to thank the Lord for his grace, which is upon us. Let's begin to thank the Lord for his loving kindness. Let's thank the Lord for his goodness. Let's thank the Lord for his protection. Let's thank the Lord for his wonderfulness. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you praises. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we lift your name on high in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice, Father, and we shall be glad within it. We shall rejoice in your unfailing love. We shall rejoice in your overwhelming victory. We shall rejoice because you are the same yesterday. We shall rejoice because you are the same forever. We shall rejoice, Heavenly Father, in your mercy, in your compassion. We shall rejoice, Heavenly Father, in your great power, in your great strength. We shall rejoice, Heavenly Father, because you are the same yesterday. You are the same today. You you are the same forever. We shall rejoice, Heavenly Father, in your mercy. We shall rejoice, Heavenly Father, in your victory you have given to us in Christ Jesus. Daily beloved, begin to plead and pray and ask for the Lord to have mercy upon you. Begin to plead and pray and ask for the Lord to show you his compassion. Say, Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and earth, forgive me your child. Forgive me your son in the name of Jesus for everything that I have done which did not give you glory. For everything that I have done which brought sorrow to the Holy Spirit. For everything that I have done which did not confess your name, for everything that I had done which was against your will, for everything that I had done, Heavenly Father, which brought me out of your presence, for everything that I had done which made me unclean. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, show me your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says you are a compassionate God. You are a merciful God, Father. You are slow to get angry and you are filled with unfailing love. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, show me your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, if we can confess our sins you are faithful and just father to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from our wickedness heavenly father creator of the heavens and the earth have mercy upon us your children in the name of jesus christ your word says father in the mighty name of jesus sir, that those father in heaven who hide their transgressions they will not prosper but those who turn away from them and abandon them they shall find mercy before your sight father in the name of jesus christ father in heaven creator of the heavens and the earth i plead and i pray in the name of jesus christ for your mercy in the name of jesus i plead and i pray in the name of jesus christ for your compassion i plead and i pray father in the name of jesus christ that you forgive me for my sins my iniquities my transgressions lord in the name of jesus do you 
and begin to plead for the blood of Christ in the name of Jesus. Begin to plead for the blood in the name of Jesus, which was shed on the cross to wash you, to cleanse you, to purify you, to sanctify you in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. For the word of God says now, we are united with Christ Jesus. Once we were far away from God, but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. In the name of Jesus, plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you, to purify you, to sanctify you. In the name of Jesus, plead dearly beloved for the blood of Jesus to wash you, to make you whiter than snow. Plead and pray dearly beloved for the blood of Jesus Christ to purify you. In the name of Jesus, for the word of God says, in the name of Jesus, sanctify sanctified him by your truth and your word father is truth begin to pray in the name of jesus christ the word of god says let the holy spirit guide your lives so then you will not be doing what your sinful nature craves holy spirit we are inviting you manifest your power in today's prayer manifest your power in today's month of july manifest your power in this new month manifest your power in this new week in the name of jesus manifest your power in our families in our homes in the name of jesus christ Christ, invite the Holy Spirit where you are in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, Dearly beloved, those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God in the name of Jesus. Begin to invite the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Invite Him in to manifest His power. Invite Him in to take control. Invite Him in to reign, to dominate, to rule in the name of Jesus. Invite Him in in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, Those who are led by the Spirit of God they are the children of God the word of God says in the name of Jesus Christ you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the ends of the earth invite the Holy Spirit where you are in the name of Jesus invite the Holy Spirit where you are in the name of Jesus say Holy Spirit take control Holy Spirit manifest your power Holy Spirit reign Holy Spirit rule rule in the name of Jesus begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray against every channel the enemy is using in your home every channel the enemy is using in your family every channel the enemy is using in your body to control to manipulate to dominate every channel the enemy is using to influence every channel the enemy is using to imprison every channel the enemy is using to cause delays in your home in your family in your life pray in the name of jesus and command those channels command those avenues command those deposits command those seeds command those points of contact to receive fire in the name of jesus christ command it to receive fire in the name of jesus christ command it to receive fire in the name of jesus christ Christ, every channel the enemy is using, every avenue the enemy is using, everything that is classed as a deposit or as a seed or as a point of contact in the kingdom of darkness that is planted in my home, that is planted in my blood, in my soul, in my body, that is planted in my family, in my children. I am commanding that channel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every channel the enemy has planted in the month of July, I am commanding you to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every channel the enemy is using in the month of July to influence or to delay or to manipulate, to control, to dominate, to overpower or to imprison. Command those channels that are that are in your home. Command those channels that are in your blood. Command those channels that's planted in your children or in your soul or in your body to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every plant not planted by our heavenly father will be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray dearly beloved every channel of spirits from the world of the dead. Spirits of Sheol. Spirits of Hades. Spirits from the symmetry. Spirits from the forest. Spirits of animals or spirits from the hill or the mountains or the valleys or the cave or the grave or the dungeons or spirits from the water spirits of divinities of idols spirits of sirens spirits dearly beloved of the queen of the coast or from celestial places astral
hostile places, every spirit that the enemy is using, every channel, dearly beloved, every channel that the enemy has planted in your home or in your body or in your blood that is connecting you to these spirits, that is causing communion to exist between you and these spirits, that is allowing you, dearly beloved, to be influenced by these spirits, that is allowing you, dearly beloved, to be dominated or to be used by these spirits. Command that channel in the name of Jesus Christ to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that channel to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that channel to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to cancel, dearly beloved, every negative dream, every evil dream. Begin to cancel every evil vision. Begin to cancel every evil manifestation which took place in your sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to cancel those works in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil dream, every evil dream, every evil revelation, every evil vision, everything that was evil that you saw in your sleep that has come to shape the second half of the year, that has come to shape the month of July, that has come to shape the days to come, that has come to shape, dearly beloved, the years to come. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ and declare, no misfortune is in his plan for Jacob and no trouble is in store for Israel. Pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that no curse can touch Jacob and no magic has any power against Israel. Pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that in that coming day no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. Pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ those evil dreams, those revelations that you received which was of evil which is of things that are coming that are unpleasant evil surprises pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ it shall not stand it shall not come to pass it shall not stand it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus for the word of God says surely his goodness and his grace shall follow me all the days of my life in the name of Jesus pray and declare that those revelations those evil dreams it shall not stand it shall not come to pass because Jesus Christ is the guardian of your soul Jesus Christ is the mediator of the new covenant pray and declare in the name of jesus christ those dreams dearly beloved which were negative those dreams dearly beloved which were dreams of renewal of alliances renewal dearly beloved of blood alliances renewal dearly beloved of laws curses condemnations dreams of imprisonment dreams of sickness dreams of death dreams of poverty of stagnation of regression dreams of celibacy and infertility dreams dearly beloved which which is showing you dearly beloved that failure is coming that stagnation is coming that you will not amount to anything pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ it shall not stand it shall not come to pass in the name of Jesus because you are the children of the prophets and you are included in the covenant God promised to, to your ancestors for God said to Abraham through your descendants all the families on earth will be blessed in the name of Jesus declare in the mighty name of Jesus those dreams it shall not stand it shall not come to pass because you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ you are covered by the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ pray and declare where you are in the name of Jesus those dreams it shall not stand it shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus begin to pray dearly beloved every altar that has received a mission every altar that has received a mission or an assignment in my name for the month of July pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that assignment is cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus that assignment, that mission, that altar has received is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, pray every altar that is sending demons, that is sending spirits to come and attack you, to come and delay you, to come and manipulate you, to come and control you, to come and monitor you, to come and influence you, to come and live with you, to come and walk with you, to come and protect you. Pray and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, those who abide in the shelter of the Most High shall find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Send fire to burn every spirit send thunder to shatter every spirit send the sword to strike down every spirit that is mandated against you in the month of july in the name of jesus every serpent has received a mission against you in the kingdom of darkness every serpent has received a mission against you in the world of the dead in the symmetry in the forest in the water in the mountains in the hills in the grave every spirit that has received a mission against you in astral places every 
spirit that has received a mission against you on the altar of the serpent in the altar of the siren the altar of the water spirits the altar of spirits from the forest the altar the altar from your origin the altar that's in the symmetry every spirit mandated against you command that spirit to be shattered by thunder command those spirits to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit that has been mandated to influence me in the month of July to influence my prayer life to influence my activities to influence my health to influence my studies to influence my home to influence my children to influence me so I can turn around in circles and so I can be stagnant command that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus begin to pray dearly beloved command that spirit that is mandated that spirit that is assigned that spirit that has been given a mission for the month of July command that spirit to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit in the form of the serpent every spirit in the form of the siren every spirit in the form dearly beloved of the leopard the lion the divinities the idols every spirit in the form of the deceased that has been mandated has been assigned a mission against you and your home shatter that spirit's influence in the name of Jesus Christ command that spirit to be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus dearly beloved pray where you are those who are led by the spirit of God they are the children of God the word of God says let the Holy Spirit guide your lives shatter that spirit by thunder in the name of Jesus of Nazareth every spirit assigned a mission assigned a task against you from the forest from the symmetry from the hills from the mountains from astral places every spirit assigned a mission against you from the air or from the water or from Sheol or from Hades command that spirit to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit that has received the mission of failure the spirit every spirit has received a mission to waste opportunities every spirit has received a mission to delay you every spirit has received a mission to waste your time every spirit has received a mission to make you stagnant to influence you dearly beloved so that you can make mistakes to influence you dearly beloved so that you can do what your sinful nature craves to influence you dearly beloved so that you can be sick to influence you dearly beloved so that you can be manipulated shatter that spirit by thunder declare their mission will not stand their mission will not come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ shatter that spirit by thunder in the name of Jesus shatter that spirit by thunder in the name of Jesus every spirit has received a mission every spirit has been assigned dearly beloved a task to come and steal your blessings to come and take away your blessings to come and change your blessings to come and exchange your blessings command that spirit to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved we were given authority over the serpent and over the scorpion and over every force and every power of the enemy and nothing shall my enemies hurt us the word of God says we will crush fierce lions and cobras we will trample fierce lions and serpents under our feet the word of God says in the name of Jesus no one will be able to stand against us as long as we live the word of God says dearly beloved we were not given a spirit of timidity and fear the word of God says dearly beloved he that is within us Jesus Christ he is greater than he that is within the world the word of God says dearly beloved he appointed us to stand up against nations and kingdoms some we must uproot and tear down destroy and overthrow others we must build up and plant pray dearly beloved every spirit every demon every spiritual authority that has been assigned a mission that has been assigned a task that has been mandated against you from the altar that's planted in the forest from the altar that's planted in the water in the world of the dead in the mountains in the hills in the cemetery or in astral places every spirit every demon every spiritual authority that has been mandated from the altar of household witchcraft from the altars that's planted in your hometown in your place of birth from the altars that's planted in the house of friends and ex-partners command that spirit command that spiritual authority to be shattered by thunder in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray dearly beloved every spiritual deposit every spiritual seed or every physical seed or every deposit dearly beloved that the enemy planted inside of you dearly beloved to renew point of contacts to renew evil connections to renew evil ties to renew evil communion pray in the name of Jesus Christ wherever the enemy planted inside of you dearly beloved through dearly beloved your dreams or through scratches from animals scratches from demons from evil spirits scratches dearly beloved in your sleep pray in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved whatever has been planted whatever has been deposited command it to receive fire and break its influence off in the name of Jesus command that deposit command that seed that has entered dearly beloved through spiritual marriages that has
has entered through manipulation or through the laying of hands that has entered dearly beloved through food in the dreams through drinks in the dreams or through scratches or through gunshots in the dreams command it in the name of Jesus Christ to be shattered and to be removed and to be evacuated by fire in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved whatever has entered inside of you dearly beloved in the dreams dearly beloved may it be dearly beloved through the laying of hands or through stab wounds bullet wounds whatever the enemy planted inside of you dearly beloved knowingly or unknowingly whatever the enemy has planted inside of you so that seed can carry out the evil mission in your life so that seed can guide you so that seed can influence you so that seed dearly beloved can dominate you so that seed dearly beloved can overpower you command that seed command that deposit inside of your blood to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus, pray, dearly beloved, command that seed to receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, command that seed to be removed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove that seed by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, remove that seed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove that seed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove that seed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, seed of failure, seed of stagnation seed of regression seed of lack of progress seed of poverty seed of dryness seed of debt seed of unemployment seed dearly beloved of history repeating itself negatively command those seeds command those deposits that the enemy has planted inside of you for the month of july to receive fire to be evacuated in the name of jesus christ pray dearly beloved wherever that seed is connecting you in the kingdom of darkness break that connection off in the mighty name of jesus the word of god says what union can there be between God's temple and idols for we are the temple of the living God declare I am the temple of the living God and I declare wherever my soul my spirit or my body is connected wherever my home is connected spiritually wherever my soul my spirit my body is connected physically wherever I am connected through initiations or dedications or ordinations or evil sacrifices or ceremonies or rituals or evil visitations wherever my soul is connected through a alliances or soul ties or laws or curses or condemnations or through evil foundations or through altars pray in the name of jesus christ wherever your soul is connected dearly beloved through spiritual marriages break that connection off by the power that's in the blood of jesus christ break that connection off by the power that's in the blood of jesus christ say my soul be detached my soul be detached my soul i declare by faith you are detached in the name of jesus for the word of god says now we are united with Christ Jesus once we were far away from God but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ for the word of God says my Lord said to my Lord sit here in this place of honor at my right hand until I humble your enemies underneath your feet in the name of Jesus dearly beloved pray and declare my soul be detached by the power that's in the blood of Jesus Christ my soul be detached in the name of Jesus the word of God says if we are living in the light as God is in the light we have fellowship with each other say my soul be detached from every altar in the kingdom of darkness my soul be detached from every alliance that's attaching you to altars in the kingdom of darkness my soul be detached from every idol and every divinity in the kingdom of darkness in the name of jesus say my soul be detached from every spiritual marriage and from every divinity in the name of jesus say my soul come out of every prison in the name of jesus christ say my soul wherever you are attached my soul wherever you are connected my soul wherever you have been enthroned wherever you are being used wherever you are initiated or dedicated or consecrated wherever you have been initiated through ordination my soul i'm commanding you by the power that's in the blood of jesus christ be detached i detached you by the power that's in the blood of jesus in the mighty name of jesus the word of course is and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony say i declare by faith i am i have overcome and I have defeated every enthronement of my soul I have overcome and I have defeated every evil dedication of my soul say I have overcome and I have defeated every evil dedication 
every evil consecration of my soul in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Say, I declare by faith, I have overcome and I have defeated every evil ordination, every evil initiation of my soul in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I have overcome and I have defeated every evil attachment, every evil sacrifice of my soul in the name of Jesus. Say, the word of God says, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son so that whoever shall believe in him they shall not perish but they shall have everlasting life declare I have everlasting life I cannot perish through any ordination I have everlasting life I cannot perish through any evil dedication I have everlasting life I cannot perish through any evil enthronement I have everlasting life in the name of Jesus my soul cannot perish through evil sacrifices my soul cannot perish through any evil initiation or attachment or consecration I declare in the name of Jesus my soul cannot perish my soul cannot perish my soul belongs to Jesus Jesus Christ is the guardian of my soul Jesus Christ is the mediator of the new covenant in the name of Jesus say my soul belongs to Jesus 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 in the name of Jesus Christ begin to declare you will not die you will live begin to declare in the name of Jesus Christ you will not die you will live in the name of Jesus begin to declare long life good health in the name of Jesus declare long life inside of your home and declare good health upon your family in the name of Jesus Christ declare no evil surprise will conquer you no evil surprise will come into your home in the name of Jesus no evil surprise is your portion in the name of Jesus declare dearly beloved no evil surprise will overtake you in the name of Jesus for those who abide in the shelter of the most high shall find rest in the shadow of the almighty say Jesus Christ is my resting place say Jesus Christ is my refuge Jesus Christ is my protection in the name of Jesus begin to pray and begin to declare you will not die but you will live in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved every representation of your soul in front of evil altars in the kingdom of darkness command that representation to be destroyed by the power of the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved every evil representation of your soul in front of evil altars in the kingdom of darkness command that representation of your soul to be destroyed by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved every evil sacrifice representing you on evil altars every evil sacrifice in your name or in your place on evil altars every evil sacrifice in the name of your home or in the place of your family upon evil altars in the kingdom of darkness command that sacrifice to be destroyed by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus declare God present to Jesus as a sacrifice for my sin. Declare dearly beloved God present to Jesus as a sacrifice for my sin. Declare dearly beloved and pray that Jesus is the perfect high priest and he offered himself as a single sacrifice to God for me and my family in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to exalt him. Begin to glorify him and begin to magnify him. Lift him up in the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. Exalt his name and glorify his name. Magnify him and lift him up in the name of Jesus. Thank you Father for your mercy, for your grace, for your word for your compassion which was with us thank you father for starting with us like the alpha and finishing with us like the omega we bless your holy name we exalt your holy name we glorify your name we magnify your name father in jesus mighty name i'm going to do the closing prayer heavenly father creator of the heavens and earth we thank you Father, we seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for your powerful arm, your right hand of righteousness, your right hand of victory to work in our favor after this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare by faith, Almighty God, that the plan of the enemy from the month of July is cancelled. We declare by faith, Heavenly Father, that the plan of the enemy, which included evil surprises for the month of July or for the remainder of this year, is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare by faith in the mighty name of Jesus no evil envoy no evil messenger no evil agent no agent no agent no agent will succeed on their assignments or their missions that they have received against us in the mighty name of Jesus we declare they will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus we declare heavenly father that you said no one will be able to stand against us as long as we live we declare by faith that their missions have failed we declare by faith that we are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ and our blessings are covered in the blood of Jesus 
Jesus Christ. We declare by faith, Lord, that everything that you have put in our disposition, everything that you have blessed us with, everything that you have destined us to receive, Lord, we declare by faith it is sealed and it is covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, wherever Almighty God, Father, that you have programmed, Father, wherever you have Almighty God given to us, Lord, according to your promises, we declare by faith, Lord, in the month of July, we are going to hold it. We are going to receive it. We are going to see it with our physical eyes. It is going to enter our homes in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare by faith, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the altars that received the missions against us and their sacrifices, it is cancelled. Those altars will not succeed in their missions. Those altars will not succeed in their tasks. Those altars will not succeed in their assignments. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, because you are the mediator of the new covenant. And we thank you, Father, because you are the guardian of our souls. Thank you, Lord, for this moment of prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you all richly. May the Lord bless you all abundantly. Thank you to those of you who shared, those of you who invited your families and friends, those of you who have been sharing the live stream link on your platforms, in your stories, your groups, with your contacts. May the Lord bless you all. Please do not forget to follow us on the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please also follow us on all the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. May the Lord bless you all. Happy July, dearly beloved. May this month of July be a blessing to you all. May this month of July, dearly beloved, be a month of mercy. May it be a month of grace. May it be a month of breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. And may every evil plan in the kingdom of darkness against you in the month of July be cancelled. And may every evil conspiracy against you and your home, dearly beloved, in this month of July be exposed in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, God does not leave those who are his. Dearly beloved, rejoice, be glad praise and worship the lord because you are his he knows you you are his child may the lord bless you all i will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the midnight prayer podcast goodbye